Good evening. We'll wait for folks to get notified and hop on here. And we will make this cute card with some new celebration product that's coming. A lot of fun. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I want to show you Paper Pumpkin this month. It's so much fun. Hi, Paula. Hi, Pat. Hi, Kay. Good evening. I appreciate everyone taking a little time to jump on here and watch us make this cute little card tonight and another one that I made. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Kelly. Kelly, I love your card with the apron. So cute. Hi, Gloria. I know it's Father's Day, so everybody might be, uh, you know, a little busy coming up. Hi, Wendy. I love the hippo. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Hi, Janie. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for sharing, Kay. I appreciate it. Hi, Fran. Thank you for watching. Hi, Janie. Hi, Lynn. Good evening. It's been a beautiful day. Low humidity, beautiful breeze. Oh, just doing great. Hi, Joan. Hi, Sue. Oh, my goodness, Paper Pumpkin. Sue just posted, Paper Pumpkin is so cute this month. Yes. Oh, I have to show you. So, it is called... Um, Hi, Donna. Pick of the crop. Pick of the crop. I did a video doing these three cards. And you get this teeny tiny bag. I love the hippos, Donna. They're so cute. And um, so this bag is like, what, what, what? I measured it on the video. It's about five and a half by six. So cute, okay? You can carry your little bags in it, or your little purse in the bag you know, in your purse. I think that's so cute. Hi, Jill. I heard that they were, they didn't have these ready to be reordered yet or something. So I'm not sure about that, but I even, I even on my video, I stamped the bag and everything. Hi, Glenda. This is so cute. Look at this. You know, vellum does so much. Okay. I mean, this is just a little piece of vellum with a little zigzag cut at the top. You could even use a scallop contour, but it made a bag. Isn't that cute? Just adorable. Hi, Anita. So this is what I did with the inside. And you get three different cards. You can make um, nine cards, but now I've got my my uh, rest of mine set back because I'm going to make some alternatives. This is, I don't know which is my favorite. I'm telling you, I love this one because I love the fruit, but I love, I love the bag because of the big loaves of bread. I don't, I just love it. I love the big hello. This is so cute. And the envelopes are so pretty. Look at that pink and green, my favorite, right? So adorable. So there's that one. And then this one with the little cart. I don't know what to, it's just adorable. Hi, Barbara. And um, just really, really adorable. Fun, fun and easy to put together. Wonderful cards to send out. And just fun for the summer. And then they fit. This is so cute. In the bag. So, hi, Marilyn. Right there. Isn't that adorable? I just love Paper Pumpkin this month. But like I said, I've got everything set back because I'm going to make some alternatives um, <clears throat> with that. If you're on my Paper Pumpkin team, they get alternatives, exclusive ones, on my, hap or, um, not my Happy Crafting Corner, the Paper Pumpkin Patch, and then uh, my team also gets those videos, and uh, I usually do one alternative for everybody, but then they get about two or three of them throughout the month, uh, exclusive, uh, because they are on my Paper pump Pumpkin team, and I appreciate that. Um, we're going to work with new product tonight. This is, I was waiting for new product. I, oh, Patty, I, I'm so glad you're on here. Thank you so much for your adorable card. Look at Patty's card, Three Little Birds. Okay. I skipped this month. It was so cute. 
look at the little flower here. Each panel opens and each panel has a little bird. I think this is so cute. Hey, Carol. This is such an adorable card. Let me get my panels going right there. Just like this. So, so much fun. So interactive. And then these are, each, these are, um, like triangle shapes that she cut out there also. I, I just, I just love it. Thank you so much, Patty. Really pretty card. And look at the outside. I will cover up her address, but, um, look at the outside right there of the envelope. Really, really cute with the flower and the notes. I think that's adorable. Okay. Now, um, let's draw. I know, right? Patty does such a great job. Um, let's draw for this card tonight. So if you would like to get into the drawing, just leave a comment, just say hello. And then I write your name down for the next time that I'm on here. Now, uh, I'm not gonna be on for two weeks. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'm going into work just to help out, uh, just for a couple of weeks, but they're four day work weeks. And I am absolutely not used to four days. Let's see who we have here. Oh, Nancy Risk. Nancy. Very nice. She won this little card. Okay. So what is going on is um, for the next two weeks, I'm going to go back to work just to help them out. Hi, Jane. And um, so it's four days, uh, eight to ten hours a day. And um, I know, Marilyn, it's so cute. It's such a cute set. Really cute. Really, really adorable paper pumpkin. Hi, Sharon. Um, so I won't be on here. I was going to try to, but when they added the fourth day, if it was three days, I would have, I would have done it. But when she added the fourth day, um, by the time I take care of this house, the yard and every, you know, everything else, I don't, honest to goodness, I'm going to run out of time and I don't want to really be rushed. So I'd rather just take a little, um, it's not going to be for two weeks. Yes. Yes, I will be off for two weeks. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Jane. Yes, I will be off for two full weeks. Wish I could see tonight, but my internet is... Oh, Patty, I'm sorry. The, her internet is giving her a fit. Yes, so I will definitely be off for two weeks. Then I'll be back a week, and then I'll be off again for a whole week. Okay, um, they need help for three weeks. Uh, so, um, but the doctor that I work for, um, is taking the week of 4th of July off. So that's why I have a break there. And so I'll get on and, and do a few things. Hi, Hope. Thank you for watching. Um, and I know, right? I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss this. And, you know, working four days a week is not, uh, I haven't worked for it in four days a week in, um, oh, over oh, five years. Uh-huh. And so... <laughs> so <laughs> So yeah, not, not, absolutely not going, uh, yeah, getting up with the alarm and all of that. Oh, uh, yeah. So that hasn't happened in a while. So I felt the best thing not to be choppy and not to feel rushed. Of course, if there is a chance that I can even just get a video on, I know, right, Kelly? Um, <laughs> even if I can get a video on, I will, okay? If, uh, but I did not want to commit to anything and then disappoint myself even because, um, right, Sue? That's exactly what I said, the damn alarm. How funny. What are we going to do without you for two whole weeks? Oh, thank you. I'm sure I will miss you guys. Yes, Marsha. I have to sure I will. I know. Got to do what you got to do. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Thank you, Carol. Uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's kind of like when stuff like this happens in your life, you're being led to do this. So um, I I just believe that, you know, God knows what I need to be doing. And um, I, I know, right, Sue? Um, and, you know, so this is something that I need to do. And um, it's, you know, it's what has to be done. So, yeah, I'm going to miss it. And I'm going to miss being home. Let me tell you, I haven't been out of the house for that long a period of time. Um, right, Sue? Right. Um, and, you know, since, of course, uh, 2020, you know, to be away from the house this long a period, this is going to be a big adjustment for me, too. 
just, you know, although I know it's temporary, it's just 12 days. Uh, can you tell I'm already counting them down? And um, <laughs> so, <laughs> this break may refresh your crafting soul. I know, right? There you go. And so, um, yeah, and then we have new product coming in. We have the end of uh, the catalog here. This catalog will end, okay, the mini, January through June. And, of course, things are on sale. Oh, on the 21st, they're having a free shipping sale, but you have to order $75 worth of product. Yes, I fit into my scrubs. I couldn't believe it. And that's what also told me you can go. You can go do this because you still fit into those things. And so... <laughs> So remember that um, if you want anything out of this catalog, um, yeah, I know, right, Gloria? It's not about, it's going to be okay. It's just, I will, I will miss my routine of here, of home. I'm, I'm a real homebody. So now, especially, um, yeah, I fell into retirement, like it fit like a glove. And <laughs> so, so yeah, this is, this is something, but um, this right here, uh, this catalog will be retiring at the end of the month, so don't forget about that. But there is free shipping on the 21st. I sent out a, um, an email. will go out tomorrow. I have it timed. Um, so I've already written the email and everything. Um, and uh, uh, it will go out uh, tomorrow on the 20th. So you guys can see that. And um, please sign up to, for my email list because a paper share is coming. Okay, so with the new catalog, the new mini catalog that's coming, I will be doing a paper share. You would be glad to get back to us too. Yes, yes, Lynn. I will need you in two weeks. Let me tell you guys, I will need so much therapy from you guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to need to sit here and craft. Um, so, yes, and now uh, also, um, yeah, right, no scrubs required. I could cover my jammies. I know. Day is right on my birthday. Oh, Kathy, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. You know, and of course, if you're a demonstrator, then you get your percentage off. Hi, Jean. Thank you for um, hopping in. So uh, <clears throat> let's see. Before we make this card, well, I have to show you the card that I did for my team with the hippo this week in this cute. Look at this. I did the splatter. You know I love the splatter as stripes and splatter embossing folder, and I used the layering diorama, and this is the one that I did for my team. Now, this is what I did first. This is what I um, created first, and I just wanted to show you the difference that an embossing folder can make. Look at this right here. Okay, and it's cute. It's absolutely cute, but this is just take it up a notch, right? I just absolutely love the splatter all around there. And you could use any embossing folder. The stripes would have looked great, you know? They are so cute. This little hippo is so cute. I had to put it like it was jumping in, ready to go snorkeling. Hi, Tim. Um, so, <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> so these are really, really cute. And I did that for my team. Okay. Now, uh, I want to show you guys some new product, okay? This is in the celebration because when the mini catalog launches, let me get it. I can't show you the inside. I can't believe we're already talking holiday, okay? This is the mini catalog, July through December, and then celebration, July 1st to August 31st. I can't show you the insides. Um... So what this is, is when you order uh, 50 to to $100 worth of product, whether it be in the mini catalog or the annual catalog, whichever, uh, then you get to pick from the celebration catalog something for free. And what is free in here is this beautiful paper right here. This is with a $50 order. This is called Silver and Gold Specialty Paper. I, sh I did a little unboxing with my team, but I wanted to show you guys too. Hi, Judith. And this is just all stripes and dots and gold and then silver. I love the new mini catalog. Yes, Gloria. Uh, so totally. So this is with a $50 purchase. You could get this paper for free. You can get um, with a $50 purchase. It has also this pool party and seafoam cards and envelopes. You know, I fell in love with the cards and envelopes when I did my tea boutique class. I know prayers for Patty. She has to have surgery. They're in that six by six beautiful. 
And now this, these are all the same envelope, but it has the pool party inside, seafoam on the outside. And then you get 10 of each of the card bases. So there's 20 in here. Okay. And they have like this leafy background. So that is so cool. Yes, hippos are free. I'm gonna, I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so this, let me make sure I'm telling you correctly. I can't show you, but I just want to make sure. Uh, yes, is with a $50 order. Okay, now, uh, let's see. What else do I have here? Okay, the hippos. The hippos, what they did, instead of putting it together to where you have the stamp set and the dies together for $100, you can get the stamp set for $50, and then you can high flow, and then you can get the hippo dies for $50. So I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, you might have to place a couple of orders, you, you know, um, and so it might work out easier for you to get the entire, like, bundle that this is. And I'll show you these dies when we open, when we start to make this card. Um, it might be easier for you to order it that way. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, some things they have in there for $100. Uh, so let me also show you what I got. Let me go through here. Okay. Now, uh, I fell in love with this. I have got to show you today was gorgeous day. Oh, don't you know it, Vicki? It was beautiful over here. Absolutely beautiful. So the paper here is celebration paper. Okay. Rings of love. Rings of love. This is celebration paper. And I'll show you what it pairs with. This is gorgeous. I have to just flip through this. I love this paper. Look at how pretty those poinsettias and the, the trees. Isn't that beautiful? And then here, are these rings, I just have a feeling the dies I show you are going to fit to cut this ring because uh, these rings of wood, because they are so good about that now. Look at how pretty the front of that. Look at the mushrooms. I'll say this about the stamp set. Um, but won't be able to use for a while. Yeah, I know, Patty. I know, but at least you got them. So these little mushrooms, okay, I've seen them used as uh, mushrooms, gumdrops, and acorns. And I'll show you that from the stamp set. It's so stinking cute. Look at these houses. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely adorable. And then this bird with the blue. I think that's so pretty. You know how everything is coordinated. Now, I, I don't know. This might be my fave. Look at this. Uh, well, I don't know if this is my fave. The check is. But I love this with the acorn. See? I'm crazy about this with the acorn. I love that. And now, um, and then I love this right here. Now, this paper is free with a $50 order. But it pairs with, okay? It pairs with this set that's in the new holiday catalog, or the uh, July through December mini, uh, mini catalog. And this has, I'm just, I'm crazy about this. This has these rings, okay? Now for my girls on their um, thing, I'll show you what I cut, okay? So it has this, all right? And, but that fits into, remember we did the, um, hi Ramona, the, uh, Merriest Moments has the embossing folder that the die fit into and then it cut and embossed at the same time. That's exactly what this is. But it is tree rings, guys. Tree rings. It's crazy. You can stamp and cut it out. There, There is not a die for the poinsettia. There's a stamp, but not a die. Okay? There is the little gumdrop here. Here's the little mushroom. Um, uh hi Peggy, uh, stems, and just a bunch of really cool stuff. Here's the top to the acorn for that. And uh, this little house. Now, there's no die for the little house. You know, I even looked in here. I was like, oh, is there another page? But there's not. So that will have to be stamped and maybe cut out. You could fussy cut that. It's just straight lines, really not too bad. Um, so, but I love the sayings on here. I love the Merry Christmas, love and warmth, happy anniversary, just for you, get well soon, and thinking of you. I think that they are just fantastic for any time of the year. Wait, right? You can't wait to get back to crafting. I know, right? <laughs> I'm not even, I know. <laughs> I know I'm not even away and I can't wait to get back yet. Oh my goodness. 
but I have to show you what I cut out. Let me show you. Let me bring it over. Let me move our card that we're going to put together tonight. So um, this one, I cut, it, it's a cut and emboss thing. And this comes right out of here. Like these fit in here like a glove, okay? So however that they go. So I did one, this is um, early espresso, and then I did one in crumb cake. And then I thought is, wouldn't it be cool to mix them up? The rings, you know, you wouldn't have to have, uh, isn't that pretty? So it cuts that out. There is a poinsettia set from the old set with the basket. Yes, uh-huh. Yes, there is. Hi, Wanda. Um, so I didn't know, like, these are, th that just looks so cool with the, with the wooden rings, okay? And then, of course, you can stamp and put rings, but I did it in crumb cake also. And, like, then if you take the crumb cake and, let me turn it this way, and then put the other pieces in here and maybe even pop them up with dimensionals and just kind of two-tone it. I thought that that would look absolutely fantastic also on the front of card for the fall. It's, it's very, very difficult right now, you know, it being 90, although today it was beautiful. Um, uh, put the tan on the dark one. Yes. Yep. And, um, like today it was gorgeous out, but the other day it was like 90 degrees and, um, well, actually heat index of like a hundred and something, whatever it was, but yes, definitely hard to think of, um, fall when I haven't even started my summer yet. Well, we're really, I'll say that all of a sudden it'll be like August. I'll be like, wait, where did summer go? There's that. This goes in here. Just have to find it where it's, there we go right about in there. Yep. So there's that. So see, you can mix them up. And I thought you guys are going to love this. It's going to be a fun set because you could use that as background. You can do some gumdrops and a little house, little mushrooms, little house, um, little acorns around, little, um, you know, some, maybe some greenery or something like that that comes from here. I think that this is going to be an absolutely fantastic set. I had to have this set. I absolutely love it. So, but it has the hybrid embossing folder, so it cuts and embosses with that one um, die. So there's that. Uh, yes, Christmas, I am doing, well, I'm going to get to that. Carol is reading my mind. Yes, this is not the Christmas in July class that I'm doing, but it would be fun, right? Let me show you what I'm going to use for Christmas in July. And um, so, yes, that's another thing that has to get designed before the end of the month. So I really need to concentrate on this. I'm using Spruced Up, and uh, this is in the new catalog. And these are so stinking cute. I have to show you. I cut this out from uh, when I did that one card with my team. I did a little unboxing with them. But they have outlines, okay, the dies. You have to look at these dies. You're going to love this. These are so cute. So it's not like there's two of them, okay? The, some, some of these, not all, they have a blade on the inside and the outside. And that's how you're getting this. And then that's how that's coming out. So I just cut it out of basic white. But look, with any kind of pattern paper, if that was layered, oh my goodness, that would look so awesome, right? That is just so cool, just like that. So really neat absolutely neat set has little presents you know I love a builder set um, presents trees little baubles here and see these have the outline also so you could do DSP and then a solid or maybe a DSP on the outside and solid in the inside something like that this has a snowflake right here really really cute but this is what I'm going to do Christmas in July with because I loved the way that these things cut out with the layers like that, just something really new. And um, I thought it was really pretty cool. I also love the sayings because I love Merry Christmas. You could also um, put happy in there, 
So glad you showed this, was wondering if I would like the set or not. You, you know, you, you wonder. When you look at things in the book, you wonder. And, you know, the way things are now, I kind of have to be a little picky about what I pick out of there. I can't just go ahead. A lot of times I would just go ahead and order most most of the catalog, but not now. And so I just have to make sure that what I'm ordering, I'm going to use a whole lot of, you know, and I really think I'm going to get a lot out of this because of just this layering just alone. Just, this is just too much, right? That's so cute, right? So, all right. So there's that. Now, um, let's see, I showed you that, that, and then I got, um, Season of Chic. I had to get this because, first of all, I love the shells. I love that it's two-step stamping. Here is a snowflake, okay? So it, I love the sayings in here. I'm here for you, wishing you the best birthday ever. Um, you're amazing beyond measure. That's so sweet. You make each season of life even more beautiful, the thinking of you and love you and thank. I just love every single one of them. And I like that it is like a distress thing. I haven't even opened this up yet. I don't even think I showed this to my, um, oh, this came in another box. That's what happened. Yes, this came separately. Uh, what happened, I'll tell you what happened, is I went so nuts over the lighthouse set, I accidentally ordered two of them. So I set one back in the night I, because I wanted to get this. And then I traded it out for this. Of course, I had to pay a little bit more, but I traded out for this. I wanted this. I wanted this badly. This comes out of the annual catalog. I wanted this so badly, this background right here. So I thought that this would even go on so many cards. Look at these shells and look at the detail in these um, flowers and look at that shell. That, that's like a conch shell right there. That's so pretty. Does this have like a double edge just like that other? I don't know. I don't know. So I, I have no idea. I just opened it up. So really, really pretty. And um, I fell in love with the paper. Let me show this to you. Um, so let me show this paper. I haven't even opened it. This is a, um, a distressed gold, almost like somebody's dabbled, okay? Uh, I just think it's so interesting uh, to go along with all of this that's in here. So I just want to show this to you guys out of the package. Look at this. It is on a white background, okay? Hi, Kay. But look at that. It is just so, like, oh, modeled, okay? And I didn't know from the catalog if you could see through it or not. I wasn't sure, but it has a white background. I'm very happy for that. But it gives that illusion, you know, of so much texture to it. So it's really pretty. So that might be a paper, too, that you want to get to use with a lot of other things, now, this is the paper that comes. I got the whole suite. I like to order sweets because just get the whole thing, you know. Um, especially if I'm going to do a class. For me to mess around with it, I want to see what I've... Oh, look at that. Wow, that's pretty. Wow. Oh, oh, I love... Um, this is the first time I'm seeing this, okay? Like the whole thing. I did the paper share, but honest to goodness, I don't... Um, I don't look at it that well. You know, I'm busy cutting. Oh, my gosh. Look at how distressed this is. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that gold in that specialty on the other side. Isn't that beautiful? Look at these flowers. Oh, the texture in this is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at those snowflakes. Well, I would have never thought about that. How pretty. How beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love that. Oh, oh I love that. That could be my favorite um, piece. Yes, I think it is. This is pretty too with the leaves. So really, really pretty. I thought that it would be, this might be a good September class thing. I'm not sure yet. You never know. Okay, let's see. Now what else? Did I get anything else? Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. No, that's it. Okay, good. That is good. I know it's beautiful paper, yes. Okay, so our little card this evening I'm so happy. I just want to spend some time with you guys because I'm going to miss you so much. 
Um, so our little guy right here, I did a lot of the coloring already because I knew that we were going to take a little time with, um, with looking at everything. But look at how cute this little hippo is. I, I have it holding a little flower here. I did that in Fresh Freesia. The little stem is Parakeet Party. And the hippo is colored in dark and light smoky slate. And then back here, I just added <laughs> little lipstick there. Um, I know, right, Kelly? Um, in Parakeet Party. And the little toes here are painted in dark Calypso Coral. I, Mary, I love that, um, that chic one. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Now, I did, I did my three little hippos here. Can you, these are stinking cute, okay? These are just adorable. Look at her. The, I put her ballet slippers on Fresh Freesia. I did a light Calypso Coral here and a dark here. Again, I'm using this paper that I got because a piece was out from paper shares of one of one of my stacks and I looked through it and counted and counted and counted I had to call Stampin' Up so they sent me the Butterfly Kisses paper and I only had to take one piece out of it well I <laughs> when I did that I was like what am I gonna do with the paper so remember last Sunday we made the book okay I found a lot to do with the paper and now I've got these little hippos with the paper I th so I'm just so happy with that so uh, I, I just, I know, right? The, they are, I wanted to use all of them. I wanted to use every single one of them. So her little skirt is Calypso Coral Light. Her little um, uh, fingernails and toenails throughout everything is dark Calypso Coral. It's just to, to match this paper right here, which is the Butterfly Kisses paper. And um, then, yeah, I said about the flower and then her little lips. She is just so cute. Okay, so now I have a base of eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. It opens like this. Here's the inside. And I just took a little part of her, just that she's just saying hello. I think that's just so cute. And um, we're going to stamp off. Uh, you really are the best. And I'm going to use some Knight of Navy with that. Wait till you guys get your little hippos and have fun with them. Now, I don't need my pad because the, uh, we're on red rubber. Got my book the other day. Yay, I'm having so much fun decorating. Yay, Flo, I'm so glad. That's great. Wonderful. Wonderful. So there we go there. And now let's just go ahead and attach this into the card with some Tombow. And I'm going to first put it on a mat of Knight of Navy. So my Knight of Navy is five by three and three quarter and my basic white is four and three quarter by three and a half. And I just did, you know, you can color your hippo any color that you want. And I was um, saying when I did, hi Sandra, when I did my um, hippo card for my team, I was saying I follow this little hippo and uh, Karen Fletcher told me she's in the Cincinnati Zoo and now I remember uh, that of course they've said that um, and her name is Fiona. And I just think she's just so cute. And so uh, Karen told me today now that Fiona is going to have a brother. So I'm very happy for Fiona having a brother and them making hippos. I think that's so, they're so adorable. And it, I'm not big on captivity of animals, but, you know, if they can live and you can save a species and that kind of thing, I think that that's wonderful. Um you know, they all seem to be quite happy. I saw Fiona eating watermelon and blueberries the other day. So cute. It's just cute, you know, just to wake up. And then they, their little ears, their sweet little ears, they twist um, hippos' ears when they're happy. And I think that's just so cute. Um, so on the outside of the card, I have a piece of Knight of Navy, five and a quarter by four. And again, the butterfly kisses. Hi, Chris. The Butterfly Kisses um, DSP 5 by 3 and 3 quarter. We're going to go ahead and put this together with some Tombow. So, you know, it just matters with, the, with these hippos where you put them. These little hippos, you can put them anywhere. As you see, hey, Laura, um, I, you know, I put them here with the layering diorama in the boat. And, of course, he has a life preserver and our splashes. I love the splashes. But then here, I'm using this in a totally different way, just making them look really cute. I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. 
So let's go ahead and put five on the back of here. And we're just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place this. Let me make sure I'm going the right way there. Woohoo! <laughs> right? Because you we have seen that happen. We're gonna place this on the base of the card, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and it's basic white. Isn't that pretty? Because it picks up that little white stripe in here. It just really brings the card all the way together when we mount it like that. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so now I want to stamp Love You a Ton. And I, my little banners right here, I use my banner punch on the end. I love this banner punch. I, I put the little link to it um, underneath the picture that I posted today on um, Facebook. So I already flagged the ends of these. And they come out so perfect. I absolutely love it. But I just wanted to put Love You a Ton down through here three times in Night of Navy. Just like that. So cute. So this piece right here is um, one half by four and three quarter. And then the Night of Navy is uh, three fourths by five. And then just flag the ends in that punch and they layer together perfectly. And I'm just gonna put this on with some Tombow. Just like that. See, I just love that punch. That is like my new best friend in the craft room for a flag because I can never cut these things straight. I really am horrible about that. So I'm so happy they have that for people like me. I'm going to put three dimensionals back here. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. I want to bring in the postage stamp, the rectangular postage stamp punch. And I'm going to punch out three. Hi, Michelle. I'm going to punch out three postage stamps right here. And again, this is the butterfly paper. Butterfly Kisses paper, two and three, just like that. That was a piece of scrap I had, so that worked out really well. And now what this is going to do is give our background, which is our Knight of Navy here, and you want to cut three of these. I posted the measurements, too, below that picture, and then when this goes on to YouTube, all the measurements will be there, too. Um, so you want three of these at um, one and a half by two and an eighth. One and a half by two and an eighth. You want three of them. And then we wanna put our postage stamp right up here. Right here. And I just love this parakeet party paired with the, um, the Knight of Navy. Really nice combo of color. So just want to put that right there, a little wiggle room we need, of course, just like that. And then this one. I had to use all the hippos. They're so happy. Just like that. And then this one. I, I, you can do a lot with this rectangular postage stamp punch. Now I'm going to pop this up on this card with some dimensionals. I'll put two on each. Just like that. Now, if you want to, you know, you can measure 
and get the middle of this. I'm just, I just eyeball it. And I'm going to put these three toward the top. Okay, leaving about a quarter of an inch there. I won't stick it down all the way in case I have to move it around. And then here, and then one here. I think I got them pretty good. I'm going with it. There we go, just like that. Now we're gonna put our little hippos on here. Now you can pop this up with dimensionals. I'm going to put this down flat. I sometimes wiggle room right off the piece. You know it, I do too. So uh, you can, like I said, you can pop it up. Let's pop these up with dimensionals. This one I, I glued down flat, just to be, do something different, that's all. So we'll put the little dancing one. She is so cute. I know a lot of us, now I have grandsons, but um, a lot of us have little granddaughters that are in dance. Wouldn't that make a cute little card? And you know, you could um, pair this with uh, those go-to greetings the, and not use these greetings that are in here. Make a birthday card. Make anything. Would be cute with give it a whirl. I agree. Yes, Lynn said. Uh, yes, I, I, the dies also. The um, Give it a whirl. It would look really, really cute. These little hippos with give it a whirl. Their little faces maybe coming through. You might not be able to use the whole body. You might have to cut it off or something. I don't know. But um, I think that would look adorable. Look how cute. And those are popped up. That looks really adorable. Now let's put our saying right here. Oh, I just love both of these cards. Let's just go ahead and pick somebody else and I'll send the other one out too. How about that? I already picked Nancy Risk got one and then um, somebody else will get another. How's that? We'll pick another winner. So I'll send them both out because they're just so cute. Oh, Laura Miller. Laura Miller. Yay. All right. So that is wonderful. My first, my little hippo cards, they came out so cute. And like here, I just have her just saying hello on the envelope. Just too cute, right? And I just used Knight of Navy just to compliment that paper. You know, really, the DSP made that card. You know? So any DSP that you use, I would think, would make this adorable. Just get those hippo dies, right? And the, and the stamp set. So again, this is a celebration product. They are separate. You don't have to spend $100 right at first, okay? They are, hey, Mary, you're on vacation. Wonderful. Yay, yay, Laura. Um, so the hippie, hippiest hippos is for 50 with $50 order and then the hippo dies is with a $50 order so you know if you had to watch your budget and order twice you could still get the bundle so I think that's a lot of fun that will launch to customers at the first of July you will be able to go ahead and order from the new catalog and that's when um celebration starts i hope oh, they're so cute right joan thank you so oh thank you sharon have a wonderful week also yes we'll be here about two months with my daughter how wonderful mary wonderful Con oh that's so sweet that's so wonderful that's really nice you have a wonderful vacation, and thanks on your vacation for tuning me in. I really do appreciate that. Very, very nice. So how cute are these guys? But I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the celebration product that is available. And, um, you know, we just tune. I won't be here for two weeks, and so I have no idea when I come back what we'll be doing. Uh, but, yeah, and... You never know. I might be able to do a video or whatever. I, I am not sure, but I know I have to work on my Christmas in July class. Hi, Brenda. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. So I hope you enjoyed this card tonight and the little bit of unboxing of some new product. And, of course, the paper pumpkin. Oh, my goodness. Go back and watch my video on that on YouTube. It is so cute and easy to put together. It is. I just love the kit. I really do this month. So thanks again, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Um, and... I will see you in two weeks. Happy crafting.